In today's wrap-up, Armenia's Constitutional Court has three new judges. The co-chairs of the OSC Minsk Group urge Armenia and Azerbaijan to meet with them. Up to 950 buses will arrive to reform Yerevan's public transportation system. The fountains and ponds of Yerevan have been reopened. There is more than 100 COVID-19 new cases recorded. Yervant Khundkaryan, Artur Vagarshian and Edgar Shatirian were elected judges of the Constitutional Court. Vagarshian received 86 votes, Shatirian 85, Khundkaryan 84 votes out of 131 members of parliament. The two opposition factions, Prosperous Armenia and Bright Armenia, boycotted the vote. In order to be elected a judge of the Constitutional Court, it is necessary to get the vote of three-fifths of MPs. The nomination of the new judges was met with criticism in the media. Critics point out for example that Yervan Khundkaryan, who was the head of the Economic Affairs Court in 2001-2008, is linked to the controversial closure of media outlet Amek Plus and Noyan Tapan. The three new judges will replace judges Felix Tokhyan, Hrant Nazarian and Alvina Gulumian, who were outstead after Parliament passed constitutional amendments that suspended their powers in late June. Due to the amendments, Hraytov Masyan lost his position as chairman of the High Court, retaining, however, his position as one of the nine members members of the court. The co-chairs of the OSC Minsk Group issued a statement urging the foreign ministers of Armenia and Azerbaijan to meet with them in the coming weeks. The OSC Minsk Group is charged with negotiating a peaceful settlement to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Members of the group, Igor Popov of the Russian Federation, Stefan Visconti of France, and Andrew Schoffer of the United States of America, released a statement on September 14, saying that they spoke separately by phone with Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov and Armenian Foreign Minister Zohrab Natsakanyan. They invited the ministers to meet individually with the co-chairs in person in the coming weeks to further clarify their respective positions, with the aim of resuming serious substantive negotiations without preconditions, reads the press release. After the July escalation on the state border of Armenia and Azerbaijan, which resulted in about two dozen deaths from both sides, relations between the two countries reached its lowest point since the 2016 four-day April war in Karabakh. A new metro station in Yerevan will be built by public funding, Mayor of Yerevan Haik Marutian announced at a press conference. Earlier, the city administration had been discussing the construction of the new station in the Ajapnyak district using private investments. According to the city mayor, the project is estimated to cost $35 million. Marutian also presented the process of updating the capital's public transport fleet. He stated that the city administration had announced a competition for the tenders of 100 minibuses. The new public transport network in Yerevan was designed by the British consulting company WYG. According to the project, the number of buses should be 850-950. According to Marutian, the Armenian government and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development are participating in the process of introducing a new public transport network in Yerevan by purchasing buses. In the evening of September 14, the colorful dancing fountains of Yerevan's Republic Square were reopened to the sounds of the anthem of Armenia. The water show with festive songs brought residents of Yerevan and guests to the center of the capital. Due to the lifting of the state of emergency declared in Armenia on September 11, 22 fountains and 8 ponds of the capital have been reopened. The fountains were shut down for more than 6 months because of the COVID-19 outbreak. As of September 15, 150 new cases of coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia. 248 people have recovered. One person died. The Minister of Health announced that the person who died was a 65-year-old man with chronic diseases. 5.4% of the tests are positive. The total number of confirmed cases is 46,119, from which 41,941 have recovered.